Good afternoon and welcome to Frost Cow Now Stadium here on WOSN for Boys Division Three Regional Final Action. Our contest today, the Ottaville Big Green, coached by Dustin Markward, coming in at 19-0-2. They have a big task at hand, taking on Ottawa Hills. The Green Bears 16-4-1 on the season. Coach Brian Hanudel at the helm there. I'm joined by Liberty Benton Boys High School soccer coach Aaron Troyer. And coach, you've had a look at both these teams this season. You've played against Ottaville once. And, uh, when you look at this matchup, what sticks out to you? Well, I think, uh, you know, these are two historically really good programs in Northwest Ohio. And, um, you know, this season especially, very, two very good teams. Um, they're going to play a little bit different styles, but I think um, it's going to be in interesting to see how, the, how this plays out with, you know, the conditions that we have here with the wind and um, how each team likes to play. So it'll be interesting to see how it plays out here today. Let's talk about the win first and foremost. Uh, we saw that as a factor in the, uh, the girls' game earlier today with uh, Ottawa Glandorf and Woodmore. If you have the choice at the coin flip and uh, you get to pick which way you get to go in the first half, which way do you want to go if you're Ottaville? So if you're Ottaville, I would say they probably want to go with the wind. I mean, if, 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 it, if it was me, I would probably like to see if I can use the wind, maybe try to get the advantage early um, if you can, um, and, and kind of see how the game is going to play out. Um, I guess we'll see. We'll see what they decide to do, but um, that would be what I would do. Well, you mentioned the, the contrasting styles between these two. Ottaville, how they play like a Putnam County team. They play very up and down the field. They're very physical. They're very fast. But as you noted and you noticed against the game against Mansfield Christian, they're playing with a lot more touch than they were earlier in the season, too. That's right. Yeah, they they possessed the ball really well the last time out against Mansfield Christian. Um, you know, I think they dominated possession really throughout the game. Um, and, you know, as they pair that with playing a little more direct and getting the ball up, up the field and using their speed, I mean, that's a, it's a tough combination um, if they're able to keep the ball. We'll see, you know, Ottawa Hills, I think, is um, very, very uh, possession dominated. So they're, they're used to having the ball a lot. So we'll see how, if Ottawa can, can have the ball and keep the ball and use that to their, their advantage. That's always the big question when you get to this level and, and you see a team the caliber of, of Ottawa Hills, like you said, the ball seems magnetized to their foot at times. And that also negates the wind a little bit for them too. That does, yeah. I think they like to keep the ball on the on the ground, you know, keep the ball on the floor and, and move it, let the ball do the work. Um, you know, typically against in windy conditions, that's that's usually the way to go if you can. So that's gonna play into their, you know, hopefully into their advantage for, for their sake. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if, I mean, even with this win, though, the ball on the ground, it could be affected. So it'll be interesting to see. Most definitely will be. With that said, we'll take a timeout when we come back. First half action between Ottaville and Ottawa Hills. It's up next on WOSN. Welcome back to Frost Cow Now Stadium here on WOSN as we get set for this regional final matchup between the Ottawa Big Green and the Ottawa Hills Green Bears. Doug Jenkins, Aaron Troyer with you here on the call for today's contest. Ottawa will be in their white kits and Ottawa Hills in their black kit. Coach, it looks like Ottawa is going to have the wind in their back in the first half. That's uh, something we discussed just momentarily or a little bit ago. And uh, see how much of an advantage it can be for them. Yeah, like we were just talking before we came on here. We were saying that the first 40 minutes are going to be important now for Ottawa. Can you get a lead? Can you, you know, put yourself in a position where, you know, the wind hopefully isn't as much of a factor in the second half um, going against the wind. So, yeah, we'll see how this first half plays out. Starters for Ottawa will be Alex Siever and Nett, Grant Lease, Kellen Schlagbaum, Jaden Saxton, Preston Mansfield, Quentin Schnipke, Jordan Landon, as well as Trey Landwehr, Carter Horseman, and Landon Horseman. The leading scorer has been Kellen Schlagbaum with 39 goals on the season. And we are underway. Looks like Ottawa Hills wants to play one deep into the wind. That one is headed back initially and gets back to Lingo. Lingo plays it over to the right, and that'll be cleared away by Ottaville's defense. I think the thing that impressed about Ottaville the other night uh, against Mansfield Christian is how well their defense played. You never really saw them get out of shape, and, and they kept that back line in a good spot the entire night. Yeah, they're very, very organized in the back. Um, they've only given up, I think, five goals all year and not many shots on goal, so very organized in the back. And you can see the wind already playing a factor with a corner kick already for Ottaville. And they're going to keep that one low. It's set down. Can they get a shot out of it? There's a lot of black jerseys around. They'll send it back out. Centering pass finds its way back into the box. Cross on its way through, did not find the mark. There's a shot that's going to go well wide. The question is, is it going to go past the end line or sideline? They're going to say it's going to be a, like a throw in here. Yeah. Yep. Deep in their own territory here. Throw in is defended. 
defended well by Schnipke. And the big green getting possession in the early parts of this game, but the drop found a green bear before it found anybody from the big green. Play it over to the right side and get it back to Schnipke. Schnipke dangerous from that spot. Nice play through, is running through is Kellen Schlagbaum. Looked like Ottawa Hills able to step in front. Battling for it is Adam Ayan. And just really being harassed there by Trey Landwehr's playing up and trying to pry the ball away from him. You can see Ottawa really pressing forward here, trying to take advantage of the fact that Ottawa Hills can't get rid of the ball and get it up the field quickly against the wind. It's going to be deflected uh -oh. and long down the sideline. Will it stay in bounds? It is. It's Schlagbaum able to catch up to it. Schlagbaum surveys the situation, rolls uh -oh. it across, but then falling on top of it. Julian Hausbay. Great chance there for Ottawa early on. Right, that's the uh, the difference that Kellen Schlagbaum makes. Is every, every time you think a ball's going to roll out of bounds or something, he's got the speed to change that. He sure does. Yeah, one of the fastest players that we saw this year that I've seen throughout the area. Play over to the left side. Danny Asseb with the ball. Drops it back. I think this is where Audeville's going to have to be disciplined against this. You, you get caught diving in against a team like Ottawa Hills, you're going to struggle. Right now we're seeing a lot of patience by the big green. Pass forward, deflected around a couple of times, turning it over to the left side. Landwehr, Landwehr plays it forward. That one's going to roll quite a bit forward, easily fielded by Hausman. Hausman works it immediately out to the right side. I think the right side line now back. That's a nice Great tackle. tackle. That one came in a little bit too hot to handle, though, for Slogbaum, but a battle for possession ensues. Send it over to Talbot. Talbot had it pried, pried away briefly. It's a nice play into space by Ottawa Hills. Long down the line, that'll go out of bounds and a throw in for Ottaville. What we learned in the first game uh, today between Ottawa Landorf and Woodmore is that those passes down the line because of the turf and because of the wind, if you're going to the north goal, they're hard to catch up to. That's right. But if you can play a pass down the line and let your forwards run onto it, going to the south goal, you might be in business. Yeah, sometimes you get the, the thinking that it's going to help you to go with the wind when sometimes it actually helps to go against the wind. Slugbomb really fires it in there, and Ottawa's got a couple of players who can throw it deep into the goal box. And slipping down there was Horseman. That ball gets out of bounds, and it will be an Ottawa throw. Horseman momentarily out of position when he lost his footing, but it won't do Ottawa any harm. Throw in coming up big green. Four minutes into our contest here. Ball takes a hop, and that one takes a hop backwards. Giving Chase his Mansfield. Another burner for this Audeville team. Yeah, their, their speed is definitely a huge asset for Audeville. They just really put you under pressure. The, the, the two forwards they have, Mansfield and Schlegbaum, but just the way they put you under pressure is it's tough to keep up with their speed. Forces a corner kick, so it's going to be the second quarter kick for Audeville here in this first half of action. There's a left foot into the goal box. Dangerous. Away by the keeper. I think it's going to be another quarter kick. Should be. Yeah, really dangerous ball played in there. That's that's what you have to do on these corners, make the keeper have to think about coming out. There's another good one, and that one just over the head of Grant Lees. That'll go out of bounds, and it'll be a goal kick coming up now for Ottawa Hills. And then here's the question is, do you try and play this deep down the field? It's a lot harder. Do you have to play it shorter? Looks like the way Mansfield players are coming back, they want, they want to go distance. We've seen them get a good goal kick down the field as it rolls off that line. It's just a common theme today. Yeah. Typically, you're not able to, you're not, you're not allowed to play the ball if it's moving, but in conditions like today, I don't know you have a choice. It's the ball's going to move no matter what. Big green with the ball as they win it back. Schnipke plays it. Now it's back over to Mansfield. Mansfield sends it far to the left side. Grant Lees is going to have a throw in, actually, as it was tipped out of bounds and deflected. Big throw. And now deflected back out. Bears trying to find something on the attack. And you saw a momentary hesitation by Asi out here on the left side. So he thought maybe the ball was going to get stolen. And that slowed down the attack of what could have been a counter for the Green Bears. 
You can see Ottawa Hills is sitting in a little bit deeper defensively right now um, and looking to counterattack. And right, right here, they're, now they push the ball up the field and they can get numbers forward. Ayad playing it forward. I'll send it over to the right side. Down the line, same side of the field. Working it back into the middle. Big Green working to get back in position. That one deflected a couple of times, nearly getting back to it was Talbot. Set out of bounds, and once again, Audeville with the throw. That's a big throw, and with that win. Oh, misplayed it either. He got around it, Schlagbaum trying to cut it into the middle. Schlagbaum had it knocked away, and it will be another corner kick. This will be the fourth corner kick for Audeville here in this first half. So again, we talked about the wind on those long throw-ins. You know, that's it's makes it really tough as a defender. The ball coming at you, and you're trying to judge, you know, whether you can go up and, and win it or not. The ball just carries like crazy right now in the wind. I imagine that's something that Coach Brian Hayuda uh, will be talking about. There's the cross. It's headed away. And it'll be a throw-in coming up. Big green. Yeah, you kind of, as a defender, get you know where you want to be on a throw-in. That is probably not the place you're going to want to be today. That's exactly right. Big throw, slog bomb. That one sets down in the goal box, headed straight up. There's oh. a shot just over the crossbar. Hits the upright the great, field goal post. Another great chance. So Ottaville has really been dictating this game so far in terms of possession and attack. Now what you want is, is Ottaville, they're, you know, they're, they are dictating the, the game right now, so you want to put one in. You want to make sure that you make it count. Put one in and, and make Ottawa Hills now play from behind. Ball rolling completely backwards. There's a strong gust of wind. Stops it at the 35-yard line, but Mansfield, or excuse me, Ottawa Hills comes away with it. Bump it out to the left side where they get it to Silk. And that'll be knocked backwards out of bounds. Throw it coming up for the Green Bears. Well, when the Bears have possession, you can see what they're trying to do. They're setting up these short triangle passes and then trying to maybe switch fields. Just haven't been able to possess it really long enough to make it work to their advantage yet. Yeah, that's one thing about Autoville is, you know, Ottawa Hills might have the ball more, but the way that Ottoville is playing defensively, um, their effort defensively is, is really going to be big. Slogbaum trying to cross one in there after the Ottoville steal. He's going to possess it. Cross, and that one is smothered by Julian Hausmey. The keeper comes out to grab that one. Hausmey has had to do some work here in the first nine minutes of this contest. I think that's the most dangerous thing you can do against any Putnam County team, especially Ottaville, is a lazy pass. That's right. Toward in, anywhere in between the middle of the field because they're coming downhill and they're going to attack it. That's right. It is a hallmark of Putnam County soccer and especially Ottaville. Yeah, very aggressive. And that's, you know, that's, it's tough to play against because you have to be on your game at all times. Halsey sends it to the middle of the field. Pop it out to the left. That one cross back over by Horseman. Lee well strong on that one, trying to get back to Trevin. You can see a little frustration by Ottawa Hills right now. You can see guys, you know, they think they're going to be in places that they're not, and, and Ottawa is really um, kind of mucking, mucking it up a little bit in the middle of the field. It's a long one down the field, yeah, and that one's right to uh, Man. No worries there. Pass down the sideline, finds its mark, and I up to the middle of the field where it's picked up by Talbot, but immediately stolen away. Slugbomb tried to go to his right, it was deflected back to the left. I think this should be an Ottaville throw, and it will be. Or not. No. Those are ones with, with how dangerous they are in the throw ins. You know, you, you want that call. You, yeah. want that, you want that call right there. Going to bounce out of bounds, throw it coming up. You're going to see a couple of Audeville substitutions the next opportunity they have to sub. It's something we saw against Mansfield Christian, too, where Coach Dustin Markworth keeps his legs fresh and running players in and out at a pretty consistent clip. And you talk about, we talked about the aggressiveness they have defensively and their effort defensively. If you can keep fresh legs in, then you can keep that effort up. You can keep that effort high for 80 minutes. Talbot did a nice job in traffic controlling that one. Plays it forward to Shetterly. Shetterly had it pried away from him. Out of bounds, last touch by Audeville. Quick throw to, I'll see. 
Gives it right back to Shetterly. Shetterly trying to get it back to him. And lunging forward to get it as Horseman. Horseman plays it through, and boy, if they'd have hit Slogbaum there. Now it's tipped forward. Slogbaum ahead for it, and oh. runs into the keeper. Ball is still loose. The keeper able to get back to it. Slogbaum. Grab right his head just a little bit. Looks like he's okay after that collision. Keeper's usually going to be given the benefit of the doubt anytime there's a 50-50 ball there, so... No whistle will be blown as I see he gets it over on the left side, drop it back. And Ottawa Hills looks to move forward again. That's going to be a penalty on Audeville and a free kick coming up for the Bears here right around midfield. We've seen them be able to kick the ball pretty deep into this win, so you don't want to get caught cheating forward on this one. That's right. They, they, uh, Ottawa Hills is able to kind of keep it low and drive the ball against the wind. That's, you know, that's the way you have to get it to, to move through the wind. Back, actually going to play it low this time as Shetterly gets it. And unable to hang on to it, though. Throw it coming up, Ottaville, and we'll get a couple of big green substitutions. Our scoreboard presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. We are scoreless just about 13 minutes into today's contest. Winner of this will go on to take on Youngstown Cardinal Mooney or Beachwood in the state semis. That one got away from the defense. Lee's coming across a little bit long on the touch. It's cleared away. And now up for grabs in Audeville's defensive half of the field. Looking over left side, Talbot. What to play for, but it was batted right back by Mormon there. Excuse me, Grant. Here, Trentman. Trying to work it back to the middle, I see. Talbot with it, Talbot a little bit over him. Nice through ball, and now coming out, Seaver's gonna have to slide and get down for it. He's able to get there. And Seaver negates the attack for Ottawa Hills. That's really the first through ball that we've yeah. seen Ottawa Hills be able to play in, into a dangerous territory. Yeah, dangerous ball played in, and that's, you know, again, against the wind, going on the ground like that, that's a great ball in. Headed away from Slogbaum, out of bounds. Slogbaum will throw it. He has an absolute cannon here. You start to see more and more guys be able to just throw it in like it's almost a corner kick from this point. Yeah, actually, when we play teams that have a throw-in like this, you almost want to you almost want to give them a corner. It's uh, these <laughs> throw-ins are almost more dangerous than a corner because they can place them exactly where they want. Look at that bending back towards the net. It's loose in the goal box, and now will be cleared away. Slogbaum will let it go out. He's going to take another throw. Again, that one kind of curves back at the net, and the clearance is going to go backwards. It's going to be another corner kick for Audeville, their fifth of the ball game. Boy, those throws just start to take that turn, yeah. and you've got attackers coming. Ottawa Hill's kind of fortunate there. A couple of times there's the play in from the corner. Set down, now set back out to the corner as they get it out to Lease. That's Alex Lease with it. Battling with Talbot. Talbot will take it away from him. Talbot down the line, though. Pass off the mark. Throw in. Coming up once again for the big green. Landed Horseman. Launches one back into play. It's going to be set right back to him. He'll left foot it forward. Talbot sets it down. Switches field. Again, you're really seeing Audeville, they're, they're pressing high up the field. They're trying to condense the space here and, you know, win the ball high up the field. So when Audeville Hills gives it away, which right now they are a little bit, uh, probably more than, than normal. It's a nice pass through the middle, but deflected back out to midfield. Audeville chips it forward. Defensive header sends it right back towards the center circle. There's a lob forward. It's a great win right yes, there by Carter was. Horseman. Carter Horseman tracked that one down, ran right by the guy that was looking to receive it. And Audeville right back on the attack. Substitution coming in. Looks like Trey Landwehr will catch a breather here as we've played 16 minutes in the game. Slugbob launches it into the goal box. That's headed, and that one could end up being a 
I thought that that went off the crossbar of the upright. Yeah, it sure did. It should be a corner kick. I thought it would be a corner kick, but no indication from the officials yet. It looks like it looks like they are calling a corner kick. Okay, now. so yeah, that will be the case. As Hausman had to drop back and continue to drop back and just got enough of that to deflect it up. That thing was coming down at a very good yeah. angle for Audeville. That ball rolled just as they were getting ready to take the corner kick. And as a result, it's going to go wide. Giving chase is Andy Mormon. And that one's going to be sent towards the north side of the field, coming across as Carter Horseman to send that away. And trying to send it back down, but that skipped off the top of his foot. Landed Horseman, quick throw will come from Ottawa Hills. Talbot drops it back. Scott sends it over to the right side. There's a chip forward and a 50-50 ball, but Alex Seaver is able to get there before the attacker for Ottawa Hills. Another dangerous ball, those diagonals coming in. That's, that's the ball you want to play, is a diagonal across the field in those short spaces. That was dangerous again for Ottawa Hills. Ball bouncing back and forth a couple of different ways. That's going to be a penalty against Landon Horseman. Generally not encouraged to climb up the back of a guy to get the, uh, the header, but no problem free kick coming up. <laughs> Again, when you play a team like Audeville, you saw them early in the season. Uh, I mean, I think that they've taken several steps to be even better than we're there, but what are the keys to surviving them in like the first, the, the early minutes of a game? Well, again, the, the speed that they have, you have to be on guard at all times. Um, you have to have, you know, your back line has to be prepared to win the ball quickly and get the ball back up the field quickly. If you can counter them um, and try to get them out of position, that's going to be a, your best chance. Headed forward. Seaver's going to be able to come out and get it. He wants to get it down the field in a hurry, but... That one is off the mark and out of play. Three subs will come in for Ottawa their next opportunity. But not yet, as it will be Ottawa Hills ball. That one's headed forward, but that will take a long roll. Easily fielded by Seaver. That one is a high hanger. Bounces at the 25-yard line. And the defensive header sends it towards the sideline. Green Bears were able to put it back in play, but Ottaville coming forward, they come up with it. He's working with it, Garrett Trippman had it pried away from him. Looked like the big green got just enough of a foot on that to kind of slow down the attack. Now played forward by Talbot. Trying to turn the corner there is Lingo, but Brandon Lingo was hemmed in, he'll be forced to drop it back. Liam Silk plays it down the line. That's out of play. Throw in Audeville. Substitutions coming in. You can see again, Audeville, their, their defensive pressure, you know, that's really frustrating Ottawa Hills right now. They look like they're a little bit out of sorts, maybe not completing some of the passes that they would typically complete. Uh, and that's, again, that's the effect of just constant pressure, pressing constantly up the field for, by Audeville. I think it's impressive for Audeville because, I mean, everybody in Northwest Ohio has been talking about this Ottawa Hills team all season, and rightly so. You look at 16-4-1, and, one, and uh, obviously Ottawa hasn't lost a game, but those four losses for Ottawa Hills were two very quality opponents. I mean, they start their season off uh, right in the fryer as they take on some div big Division One opponents up in that area. Yeah, they've played, a, I mean, they're battle-tested. They've played a lot of really good, a lot of really good strong programs and they fared very well. So, you know, they're, they're not seeing anything they haven't seen yeah. um, before, but credit to Autoville so far, um, the way this, this first 20 minutes have gone. Yeah, you like the way that Autoville's also playing, like, hey, we haven't, this isn't anything we haven't seen That's any right. either. Uh, I think a lot of people would consider the Big Green maybe the underdog in this game, but they are not playing with that mindset. Yeah, they look like, you know, they, they believe they, they deserve to be here. They were in this spot, the same position last year, and, you know, they, they want to, take advantage of it this year. That was a nice throw, but they're going to say it was very nice because of how far up the hit slug bomber came up to throw it. I think they're going to make him back up and take it again. You see the official on the sideline. Going to work it back to Landon Horseman. Horseman pretty much walked right back up to where <laughs> that initial throw in came. He'll have that occasionally. That one's tipped forward by Preston Mansfield, but well beyond play, and it'll be another goal kick coming up. 19-12 remaining on the Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. Again, 
scoreless. Ottawa has had their chances. Ottawa Hills has threatened a couple of times as well. No shots on goal for either team just yet. That goal kick took a sidewinder. Took a right turn, there. yeah. Got hung up there and the spin on the ball just pushed it out of bounds, so throw in Ottaville. Grant Lees is able to really launch them too from that side, so it's not like you just have slog bomb on one side of the field who can do it. You have to keep an eye on it from both sides. That one's headed up. We got a round. Give the big green turn it into an opportunity. Couldn't quite get square on that one. Quentin Schnipke. Well, he tried to contort himself to send that back in, but that one goes well down the tennis courts, and it'll be another goal kick coming up. And again, you see those that the, the throw in is it's just dangerous. You know, every ball that goes in it, it feels like Audible has a chance to create an opportunity off of one of those. Wood really knocked that one down. It's headed forward off the forehead of Trey Landwehr. But Ottawa Hills able to send it back immediately. Headed over to the right side. Now launched forward by the big green. Nicely set down by Schlagbaum. Trying to work it over to the right side. Can he get the pass right side? Yes, he can. Giving chase as Quentin Schnipke. Schnipke able to keep it alive. And that's tipped out of bounds. Quick throw for the big green. And it was chipped forward by... Schlag bump, but he just couldn't quite get a move on it. Pass over to the left side, Hussey. His pass is intercepted. Hussey. Now the battle for possession won by the uh, Green Bears. But the pass down the field by Hussey is going to be deflected out of bounds by Landon Horseman, who's gotten in the way there a couple of times. Throw-in comes to Carson Mackey. Mackey at the left side, Ossie with it. Ossie's pass was pried away from Elijah Shetterly. Shetterly has 14 goals on the season, so one of the guys you have to be aware of for this team. That ball could be trouble as giving chase is lease. And it's sent away by Evan Westover on the far side of the field. Now they have a chance to counter here. As they do, chip it forward. The ball's going to set it right down in a good spot for Shetterly. Shetterly battling for possession. Goes back to his left, slides. Ball still loose. And a big Greeper fortunate to get a second defender back there to really take away his ability to cut back to his left side. Yeah, great recovery there. That looked like it was going to be a great opportunity for Ottawa Hills and Ottawaville with a great recovery there defensively. Yeah, it's going to end up being a trip. So we're starting to see some contact both ways here. As Ottawa Hills player slow to get up, but okay. And it will be a goal, or excuse me, a free kick coming up now. And you hear the, or you can see rather, the big green coaching staff saying, you're, you're calling the retaliation. Yeah. There's, there's a pretty good collision beforehand. Yeah, you'd like to you like for the officials to call the first one, but a lot of times, you know, they let let the play go out, play out, and they tend to call the second. That ball came down at a 90 degree angle as the wind blew it down, and Audeville just plays it forward. That's going to roll out of bounds very easily. So here's the gamble when you play the wind in the first half. You're really banking on being able to get one in the back of the net. Now you're down to about 15, 20 remaining. That does put some pressure on you to try and find that score here in the first half of action. That's going to be a trip against Audeville. That's right. You, you, you hope you know you don't want to press too much and leave yourself you know out of position defensively at some point here. But there's That's another ball. dangerous ball. Nicely headed back to the keeper as Carter Horseman made the heads up play. He knows that Seaver can use his hands if he heads it to him. He does so. You're starting to see the Green Bears get some attacking opportunities as this game goes on and on. Yeah, they've found their footing here. I think they've yeah. been a little more dangerous the last five, ten minutes of the, of the game here. I think they're getting used to the tempo that Audeville plays at. It's made it a little bit more uh, of an even possession ball game. Slotbaum tried to slide through there. Ball bounces out, gets to Mackey. Mackey left side. Talbot had it stolen away. Nice steal by Schnipke. Schnipke plays it to the right. And that one there was uh, a collision there. I think they got to the ball first, played forward again by Landon Horseman. And coming over to get that, the keeper, Housman. 
That was probably with a drop kick. You let that bounce before kicking it. Trying to keep it a little bit lower. Yeah. That was a, a decent kick against the wind. I think that might have been the first one he tried here in, in a little bit. He's been going short on most of the most of the uh, goal uh, keeper balls in his hand. The green trying to work the far sideline. Now they'll play it in, working it to Mansfield. Knocked away from him. Here comes Talbot. Has some time to work with it. Now he's under attack. Plays it through the middle. Pass over to the left side. Hasse with it. Slight tackle, but able to keep it is Mackey. Mackey plays it through the middle. Sent back away by Carter Horseman to midfield. You can see Ottawa Hills is still, they're keeping, you know, six, five, six guys back, no matter how many, um, or how, how far they're getting up the field with the ball. They're playing a little more defensive against, with, you know, going against the wind here. Um, obviously, Ottawa can counter very quickly. Seaver boots it down the field. Set down by Schlagbaum. Schlagbaum back puts it to his left. Tries to play it through the middle. Trying to get it to Mansfield. Defensive header sets it forward. Now it's lob forward. Fortunate to get in front of that one was the big green defense. As getting it away there initially was landed. But it's the Green Bears on the attack. There's a lob forward into the box. And defensively, that's going to be sent out of play. They had an attacker coming in there with Ozzy. Corner kick coming up for Ottawa Hills. This will be their first corner. Yeah, good recovery again, it looked like by Schnipke, um, being able to get there in time to, to get the ball away. The corner kick will come from the near flag. It'll be taken by Alex Durant. Durant to left foot it. And that one is headed in. The player, that'll be Garrett Trentman, who was on the left post, got a foot on it. I'm not sure that it was headed in, but he was definitely in the right place at the right time. Yep, that's why you put someone on the post. It's, a lot of times the keeper can't um, get to those so quickly, those balls that are um, the quick quick counter shots in there. So great great job there by, by Trentman. Alex Duran again will take the kick. Duran left foots it. That one's a low line drive right in the hands of Alex Seaver. Seaver quickly releases it, though, as the uh, Big Green try to get something on a counter. He gets it out to Lease. Lease, a stutter step, gets it across midfield, tries to cut it back to the middle, lobs it forward, and charging for that is Mansfield, but that one's going to be played too far away from him. Hausman comes up to get it, the keeper for Ottawa Hills. Now we approach almost 10 minutes remaining in the half, just over 11 on that Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Again, today's premier sponsor for the Ottaville Big Green, Ottaville Bank. We are large enough to serve you and small enough to know you. That one has lobbed forward by Landon. But it's the Green Bears who come up with the ball. Pass to the left side to Shatterly. Shatterly works it to the middle. Nice pass to the outside where they get it to Alex Lease. Lease able to get the defender to blow by him. Can he do it a second time as he works it a little further up the field? Trying the give and go to try and get it right back to Andy Mormon. I think it was a miss hit though on the opportunity to get it back there. And a foul against Ottawa Hills here. So usually when you're about the 40 yard line with a free kick here, you're not taking the shot. You're probably not taking the shot here either, but the ball can do all sorts of weird things in this situation. That's right. If We'll see what, what Audible does, but if you have someone who can who has a good a good strong foot and is able to get the ball in the box, typically with the wind here, it could be could be dangerous. The keeper is out as now well. Look how far Ottawa Hills is bringing their back line up to try and draw it offside, perhaps. That one's headed in, and trying to send it down. Schlagbaum works to his right. Got his right foot on it. That's going to be reflected out of bounds. And it will be the seventh quarter kick for Audeville coming up here now with 9.40 remaining in our first half of action. Lease will take the kick. Lease puts it out in front oh. that one. Did the keeper get a hand on it? I think he did. I think he did. Hasme started to come out, and he almost dove backwards to get to that one as it was that one ball was turning in a hurry. Yeah, with the with the spin he put on that along with the wind that might have gone in backside. At 
least he's going to come out. So it's a different taker of the kick over on the far side of the field here. Here's the kick. That one a little bit more height. And that one is going to go all the way across the field out of bounds. And a goal kick coming up now for Ottawa Hills. Ottawa continues to threaten. They just have not been able to put it in the back of the net yet. The Putnam County counterpart scored at about this part. Ottawa Glendorf's girls team in the regional final that was played here at noon today. And Ottawa is threatening right around the same mark with 8.32 remaining. Oh, Almost just couldn't keep it. Schnipke lost his footing momentarily, heads the throw in, and it'll go out of bounds. So another Green Bear throw in coming up here. Throw it to set down, lob forward, and then a header by Carter Horseman. Loose ball there at the 30 yard line. The Big Green do seem to be content to just send it long from their back line today. I don't think they want to play with it too much up around the dangerous attackers for Ottawa Hills. No, it looks like they, they definitely are trying to utilize their speed up top. Um, if they can win the ball and send the ball forward and try to uh, get numbers forward quickly that way. Well, the Ottawa Hills faithful here wanted a foul called against the big green. That one, and I think they're going to get it. So that's going to be a free kick for the Green Bears just outside the goal box on the right side. Here's where going into the wind can work for you because you can kind of leave this up in the wind and have someone run on for a header. Yeah. We're going to mark off the 10 yards. Seven minutes separating us from the half here in Tiffin. This is a, a dangerous spot here. These are really good spots for free kicks in, in the attack. Lobbed in, and that one got over the head of the intended target. It'll go out of bounds. I think maybe it just skipped off the head of Evan West, who was in the vicinity. And it's going to be a goal kick coming up for Otteville. So no damage done on the penalty that was committed deep in the defensive third for the Big Green. Second, Big Green, number three, Grant Lee, and number six, Julian Sexton. In for Iowa Hills. Let's send towards midfield, long bounce. And that one's going to take a long roll out of bounds. Two teams who haven't given up many goals this year. No. Um, you know, so it's 0-0 with six minutes to go in the first half is not shocking. Maybe a little bit of a miscommunication there on the Otteville defense. You had Landon Horseman sneaking up on it. Almost got tangled up with the zone player. With the ball here, Shatterly. Shatterly, left side, towing the sideline, bumped out of bounds by Quentin Schnipke. Shatterly will take the throw. Drops it back and gets it to Liam Silk. Silk, again, a little bit of a slower pass. It was challenged there. The Preston Mansfield got in. Let's see if he can do something about it. Mansfield, or excuse me, Ottawa Hills will control again. 534 remaining in the half. Working it forward. Horseman over to Lease. Drop it right back to Horseman. Good one-two combination right there on the sideline. As Lee plays it forward. Defensive header. Took a spin backwards. And as a result, the, goal, the Green Bears have to send it out of play. Schnipke's throw is again headed back out of bounds. And here's where Audeville can be dangerous. Comes like Bob yep. again to, to get this in. And again, he's had probably four or five of these that have been really dangerous so far in the first half. You saw initially Jaden Saxton pick it up, and then Slugbaum waved him off. Big Green get the attack they want. There's the throw in into the middle of the box. That one sets down in the goal box. Can they drop it out to somebody? Over in the vicinity is Garrett Trentman. Trentman has it stolen away, and now the Green Bears have some numbers. Three on two, pass forward. And initially, the big green got ahead. There's a couple of players getting tangled up at midfield there. Play will continue. We're starting to see bodies on the ground about every time the ball gets loose in midfield. Great, great defensive recovery again by Autoville. Yes, like, it was. Autoville Hills had some numbers forward, and here's another chance for Autoville right now. 
Wichnipke tried to cross it into the middle, couldn't quite find anybody. Big Green are going to get it back as Trentman set it over to the left side. Through ball headed away by Duran. Police giving challenge. And he definitely thinks that it went off of someone from Ottawa Hills, and it did. So this is going to be the ninth corner in this half. Play a lot of games where you don't get nine corner kicks. They did stop the clock, and they are going to issue a card. The yellow card was issued to Carter Horseman. You mentioned guys getting tangled up, so I'm not sure if that's if that's what the, the referee saw a little bit ago. And, uh, you know, you let the play play out a little bit to see what was going to happen with the attack. But you know, obviously when he calls back um, from what he saw earlier in the, in the play. And now the official will go over and explain the card to Dustin Markward and his staff there. But yeah, I, I got a little bit chippy there between the 40s. Uh, the last possession that Ottawa Hills had on their side of the field. So I think the official's just trying to take, uh, take note of it. Kind of get both teams level set here. Yeah, it's been a pretty pretty clean, well played game so far. But you mentioned you know the last couple of minutes have been getting a little bit, a little more rough and tumble. Uh, some guys on the on the ground a little bit more than they had been. So yeah, you want to see the referees kind of take control and make sure that it doesn't get worse. So yeah, it will no longer be a corner kick. That ends up being a very big break for Ottawa Hills because, again, Ottawa's done a great job challenging on their set pieces and making, making it very dangerous, as you've said, for the, the Green Bears. And you've seen uh, Julian Howes may have to do a lot of work on those corners. Yeah, they've been under constant pressure here on these, on these set pieces and free kicks and throw-ins. So yeah, you want to get as many of those as you can if you're Ottawa. Now I think they're explaining to uh, Coach Mark Ward why they're not getting the corner kick now. But we're back to the action. Just inside four minutes remaining in the half. That one's going to roll all the way back. Gavlich sends it down the field. Lease has it. Lease, oh, he had the look that he wanted, just couldn't get that pass through. And a throw in coming up for the Green Bears. Throw in to Carson Mackey. That went off a of referee, so well, actually it found its mark, so they're not going to stop the ball there. Shetterly trying to work against the Audeville defense, sent away by Horseman. Talbot sends it over to the right. It's got eye on. But the big green defense right there to send it back. And they will get the trip against the lease over on the far side. The second time here in about the last five or six minutes that Audeville's given up a penalty in this area where you don't necessarily want to be giving up free kicks in a game this tight. Yeah, again, kind of on the wing here from that, about that far out on the field. These are, these are really dangerous opportunities. Substitution. Oh, well, maybe not a substitution. I could. May have carded coach Dustin Martinward. Yes, they are. I think they gave the assistant coach a card as well. Yeah. Coach, you've been certainly in some uh, some tight games like this and everything. And uh, it's every once in a while, you say your piece right up until that point. That's right. You have to you have to know there's a, there's yeah. a line that you don't want to cross. You want to get your you know your point across to the referee and hope that they they hear you and that you know they understand your point as well. But, I think that's what all of those doing now. It looks like they weren't real happy about the call. They thought maybe um, a little bit of an embellishment on the call uh, by the Ottawa Hills player. But, you know, if the referee made the call, they're not going to change it. The call is what it is. Chris Brian Henudel is now arguing his case. I think he's saying they're not giving him 10 yards, so we'll have to mark that off as well. With 2.43 remaining in the first half from the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Walpock and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. That one is tipped up. Still loose at the top of the box. Talbot comes up with it. Talbot 
Got a good right foot on it, wanted to handball, but not going to get that call as it's cleared back out to midfield. Send it to the left side, Mackey. Mackey, that's a nice pass through the middle, but it's a little bit long. And coming out to get that is Alex Seaver, but that's the look that the Green Bears want every time they come down the field. Yeah, ball's a little bit too vertical, a little bit too straight up the field. You want those to be more diagonal, um, make it a little more dangerous, but they're, you know, they're kind of knocking on the door right now. Throw it will come in as Schlagbaum nearly was able to keep that in, but will go past the sideline. Throw in coming up. Adjusted by Shetterly back. This defensive header to send it forward. Back to the middle where it's set down on the turf by Landwehr. Landwehr plays it forward, trying to find Schlagbaum. Ball gets loose to the right side. There's a chip forward. Green Bears don't have numbers, and it's well defended by the big green defense as they send it to the outside and get it to Garrett Trentman. Nice move, Lease. Lease got around his man. Lease lobs it into the goal box, but that is way too far ahead. And easy pickings for Julian Hausman. You can see all of those, they're keeping about four guys back. No matter what, they're going to keep four guys back. They're not going to send their, their backs forward at all into the attack. So, you know, Ottawa Hills, when they're trying to counter, um, they don't have numbers. You know, it's a one on four one on five, something like that. So it's really tough for them to, to counter quickly on Ottawa right now. One minute, One minute left in the first half. We are still scoreless. Ball is chipped forward. Bringing it down, sending it forward as Horseman. As the big green dude, nice job getting two defenders on the ball there. They're able to steal it away. Sent forward and given to Landwehr. Landwehr had it knocked away from him. Now the Green Bears might have something cooking as they play it forward, but well defended by the big green defense and a little room to work. There's Mansfield. Mansfield wanted to play through the middle of the schlock bump, but that avenue was shut off. Now down to 19 seconds left. Played forward. And yeah, just trying to get away from Harmus Horseman. Stolen away now with 10 seconds left. Big green have been unable to get a clearance. Now we're not going to get a shot as that ball gets loose at midfield, and that is going to do it for the first half. So we've played 40 minutes, and that will do it for our first half of action. Zero for Ottawa Hills, zero for Ottaville. We'll take a timeout, come back with some halftime analysis after this on WOSN. Back in the half in our regional final contest between Ottaville and Ottawa Hills. It is nil-nil at the half. We've played 40 minutes. No closer to establishing a victor in this one yet as we take a look at uh, the stats. Really no shots on goal from either team. Ottaville had some chances with some set plays. They had eight corner kicks in the first half to Ottawa Hills too. Uh, but they gave up some, a couple of yellow cards uh, against Ottaville. Maybe got a little bit to undisciplined there towards the end of the first half where they gave up some free kicks in dangerous territory. We'll talk all about that now. Doug Jenkins and Aaron Troyer here with you. Uh, looking at the keys for this second half, Aaron. For Ottaville, you got to think your, your opportunities are going to be a little bit more limited. So it's all about capitalizing on any instance that you get going into this win. That's right. Yeah, you know they, they want to play the ball to feet now a little bit more than than playing the long ball. It's not going to work quite as well. And then obviously, as they get the ball forward, they want to make sure they stay disciplined in the back and not get caught, you know, over the top or with through balls. Now um, that Ottawa Hills has has a little more of the advantage with the wind. Most definitely, which leads you to the second key for Ottawa is keeping your shape and making sure that back line is playing the way that they have all year. That's a hard line to get through when they're playing well. That's right. You know, I think given up maybe just five goals all season. Um, so they don't typically give up a lot of goals anyways. So I think that's something they, they, they really do well is keeping their shape. But here you have to be super disciplined. You know, Ottawa Hills can break you down quickly with the, the quick passing movement that they have. So keeping your shape defensively is going to be really important. In the meantime, for the Ottawa Hills Green Bears, you look at the keys for them here in the second half. Uh, we were talking about this while we were off the air. You, you almost get that false sense of security when the wind is now at your back. And what you're saying is that your defense can't get caught creeping up. That's right. Same kind of, you know, just the same thing is you don't want to get caught sleeping here where you, you know, feel like you have the ball in the attacking half the, of the field. You know, you're creating chances and opportunities, and then suddenly, bam, there's a ball over top. And with Ottaville's speed, you know, they can – 
they can carry the ball and, and create some good chances with their strikers up top. So yeah, you don't want to get caught out of position. Uh, so the same thing with them is, is keeping your shape and, and not getting caught. And also, you have to imagine the coach, uh, Brian, had you don't sure that he likes the patience he's sitting at his team, but he probably wants to see the ball at the foot of his playmakers a little bit more. Haven't really said much about Adam Ayad yet, uh, who has 12 goals, or Alex Duran, who has 24 goals on the season. They haven't been that big of a factor just yet in this game. Yeah, you want you want your playmakers to have the ball so they can create and 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 do some good things, right? That's that's kind of what you want is, if you have those really top level players and skillful players, you want the ball at their foot, you want them to create, create good things. And so I think in the second half, that's what they're gonna wanna see. All right, all that said, it is 0-0 as we head to the second half. Back with second half action on WOSN right after this. Welcome back to Frost County Stadium here in Tiffin. Doug Jenkins and Aaron Troy are with you as we get set for the second half of our regional final matchup between Ottaville and the Ottawa Hills Gold Green Bears. 0-0 is the score, and Coach, you were just saying, this is right where Ottawa Hills was in the regional semifinal matchup. Yeah, 0-0 for them at the start of the second half um, in the last game and, you know, against a good team. So they've been in this position before, and they ended up winning 4-0. So um, they can, when they strike, they, they typically strike with a lot of goals quickly. A penalty going to be called against Ottawa Hills here. The Green Bears really have yet to be challenged in the tournament. They knocked off Pennsville 6 0. Genoa in the district semis 14 0. They won their district 5 0 over Evergreen. And then a winner over uh, Haverton United by a score of 4 0, like you just mentioned. And they've played, you know, some of those teams you mentioned were really good teams this year. So, you know, they've been they've been playing very well here in the tournament, scoring a lot of goals and not giving up any. So, um, you know, clean sheets throughout. Here come the Bears. There's a through ball, and that one's going to roll long. Alex Heaver comes out and fields it. No problem there. So that one did not come off his foot the way he would have liked to. It ends up right on uh, Danny Asi. Asi passes it to the middle. Centering pass. That one, no clearance. Really just chipped forward. And that will be sent out of play. It'll be an Audeville throw in. Audeville's tournament trail. They beat Cotton, or excuse me, Fort Jennings in their sectional final, 10-0. Continental, 1-0 in the district semi. What a big uh, game there. Over Kaleida, 2-0 for the district final and in the regional semi action. 1-0 winners the other night here against Mansfield Christian School. Coach, you're almost familiar with that entire lineup uh, yeah, of schools with Liberty Benton. I think we played all those teams. <laughs> so, yeah, we've seen a lot of... Some of those you mentioned, really good programs here in Northwest Ohio. So Audeville is battle tested as well here in the tournament. They've done a great job of, of getting through and unscathed and, um, you know, again, all clean sheets for them as well. I think I had Liberty Benton as a uh, hypothetical third place in the Putnam County League. I think you played the entire league, right? I, I We did, yeah. That's probably about <laughs> where we would have finished. Yeah. So very familiar with a lot of these teams. Of course, uh, congratulations with the Encosa Championship. It was a long time coming and uh, a solid group of young players there. Yeah, we have a, a really good team this year and, and a good, you know, solid core young group coming through. So um, really proud of the guys for, for the season we put together this year and hopefully we can build on that for next year. It's like how I professionally phrase that. It's not like my kid plays with the team, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's a through ball and getting up oh. to it. Oh, slug ball. Got a touch on it. That's going to go out of bounds and it will be a goal kick. That ball was just a little bit long. He was able to get there before the keeper, but there wasn't going to be as much he was going to be able to do about it. So that's where we're going to see the difference here. You know, in the first half, you have the wind. If you're Aldoville, the ball carries a little bit more. Now in the second half against the wind, that ball dies, and maybe you get to some balls that you couldn't before. So that's going to be interesting here as well for Aldoville. Well, that goal kick sailed three quarters the length of the field there. So Mansfield Christian immediately in their attacking third. Nice play over to the right to Mackey. Mackey cut back to his right, but Pretty disciplined defense there by Audeville as you didn't see either player really shift left or right. But it will be a man, excuse me, an Ottawa Hills throw in. Least knocks that one out of play and another throw in coming up for the Green Bears. <coughs> throw in is put back to Ayad. Ayad centers it, chested forward by the big green defense. Look at that. As you see, Ottawa Hills has all their players across midfield right now. Yeah, they're really pressing forward here, too. We saw that in the first half with Ottawville. Um, Ottawa Hills seeing the same thing here, and, and now is where it can be dangerous. You don't want to, like I said before, don't want to get caught, you know, kind of 
sleeping a little bit. Um, Ottawa with the speed they have up top, and you know, a ball that gets through, that's going to be really dangerous for Ottawa Hills. That ball is going to be sent back across midfield, but easily taken away by Vaughn Mackey. Sends it over to the far side, all the way over to the left sideline now. Looking for a long cross, good defensive header, keeps that away from being a shot opportunity. At least chips it downfield. That one got over a defender. And Preston Mansfield just not quite in a position where he's going to be able to get to it. It's going to be a penalty called against the big green as Jaden Saxton made contact with the player before the ball. Out of my odd. A little slow to get up there, but looks like he'll be okay. And looks like he's going to be okay with that. Yeah. That, was a, that was a hard hit right there. Looked like right to the face. Definitely was. Now we'll see how Ottawa Hills wants to play this. They could certainly send it in on net from this distance. There it is, into the box. It's headed, and it's going to go wide. I think it's going to be a quarter kick, though, and that will be the case. Now we have somebody down for Ottawa Hills, it looks like, in the box. Yes, they do, and they're going to stop the clock to signal for that. We'll take a timeout as well with 34.59 remaining in the second half. We are scoreless in Tiffin back after this on WOSM. Welcome back to Frost County Al Stadium here in Tiffin. Uh, they play her coming off a little bit gingerly as Harley Talbot, a senior defender, as we are scoreless here on the Louis Famous Recipe Chicken. Today's premier sponsor of Ottaville Big Green Soccer is Ottaville Bank. We're large enough to know you or serve you and small enough to know you. Here comes the corner. They brought, again, how Talbot is a defender. They brought him all the way up on this corner kick. Now he'll have to come out and be examined here. Yeah, we'll see. I don't think he's someone that comes out very often, so that one goes out for a, for a goal kick. But, you know, you, you have to send a defender forward, you know, thinking he's good in the air on set pieces, trying to win the ball. Um, so with him coming out, we'll see how they kind of react to that defensively here. The Big Green went quick with their, with their goal kick. Slog Bob trying to get around. That's going to end up being a trip on Ottawa Hills. That's Evan West who got into him. Big Green get it back as they get it to Trentman. Trentman gets it right back. Trentman a little stutter step. Nice pass to the middle. Want to go right back to him, but that ball had a little backspin on it. Slowed it down. Sit down in the box. Oh, and I'm open back to height. Yes, he did. Him. Couldn't get a foot on it as it was Jaden Saxton who was threatening there. I really don't think the Big Green have changed their method of attack going into the wind at all. Here we come. Into the right corner of the goal box. There's a shot. That one is into the back of the net. And the Big Green have scored with 33-57 remaining in the first half. They lead by a score of 1-0 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. We're back in Tiffin after this on WOSN. Welcome back to Tiff and where Ottaville has opened up the scoring. Our scoreboard presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Walpock and Delphus. Call for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. The goal scored by Trey Landwehr. Preston Schnipke set him up. That ball just set in the box far too long for Ottawa Hills Comfort. And the big green slam one in. Yeah, great, great ball in. Those are the ones that are tough, you know, as you're kind of from the outside, taking the ball down towards the touch line and, uh, you know, playing it back across the box. Those are really dangerous balls for the for the defenders to, to mark up on. And again, we kind of mentioned it, Talbot was out, and he, I think it looks like he's come back in the game. But when you have one of your, you know, defenders that come out, uh, sometimes, you know, you have someone in there who's maybe not quite as experienced, so Audible takes advantage. A big score there for the Big Green, and they take a 1-0 advantage again. Remember, this is a rematch of last year's regional final where Ottawa Hills emerged victorious. But again, both teams have brought a lot back from last year's teams. So that's tipped out of bounds. Last touch by the Big Green. Throw in coming up, Green Bears. You know, for as much green in the nicknames, there's surprisingly little green on the jerseys today. Very little green. <laughs> green letters for Ottaville. Maybe some green trim on the black jerseys for Ottawa Hills. That's a nice pass to the outside as Ottaville 
And Schlagbaum had it knocked away from him. That'll be a throw in coming up. Schlagbaum, quick throw. He's a little bit more with a touch throw on that one. Lob back towards midfield. Trying to turn it into the middle is Mansfield. Drops it back to Mormon. Back up to Mansfield. Mansfield in the middle of three players. Mormon not seating any ground. And they're going to get a penalty called against him as Adam Ayad had a pretty good shield put up against him. And one way you're not allowed to go through it is by going directly through the person. Yeah, I think two hand shoves are discouraged <laughs> in soccer. It's a good well, battle can, for possession right there coming down the field. You can see Audeville after scoring, they almost have a, a little bit of a burst of energy. Yeah. They've, they've really uh, continued to put Audeville under, or Ottawa Hills under pressure. Well, we were just talking about it right before they scored is They've been on the attack almost nearly identical as the amount they were in the first half uh, as to this point seven minutes in. They haven't really changed up anything going into a stiff wind. And I, thought, I don't know what happened to the flag, Aaron. <laughs> the American flag is gone. I don't know if it blew off. That's a good question. I don't know <laughs> where it went either. That was kind of our gauge for how windy it was. Um, it's not there anymore. Well, we're going to just assume that it's still windy out there. Our cameraman, Jacob, can he... Thumbs up still. Yeah, Jacob says that it's still still pretty windy out there. <laughs> Throw in coming up Audeville here. Good throw in down there, and that one sent forward by Evan West. Oh, that's a nice header, and giving chase is Brandon Lingo. Audeville wise to just send that one out of play. Lingo made a nice move on that. Looked like he might have an angle of attack, but Audeville was able to send it away quickly. Lingo puts it in. And a throw in coming up. Green Bears as they drop it back to Duran. Mansfield cuts to his right. Not a lot of numbers there for him as he was just trying to find some space to work in. That one chipped forward. Defensive header sets it back on the turf. And now we see Ottawa with the lead, maybe playing a little bit more defensive, uh, maybe not taking those chances forward. Obviously, when you have the lead, you don't need to but you also don't want to sit back too far and give Ottawa Hills too much space to work. Pass to the middle, and that one nicely defended. Landon Horseman does a really good job of reading that area of the field, knowing when he's good to attack there, but not getting overzealous and getting out of position. Yeah, he really reads the game very well. And also Alex Lee's showing he can read the game pretty well there too as he comes up and uh, comes away with the steal. However, it'll be Ottawa Hills that gets it right back. Bears working the left sideline right now. Played 10 minutes now in the second half. Audeville up 1-0. There's a through ball. It's going to be a little bit long. Nice job by the defense playing the shield there. That's Landon Horseman giving his keeper, Alex Seaver, some time to get to it. And he gets to it in plenty of time. Right, Mormon works it over the right side. That one just kind of skipped off the top of the foot there. And takes an errant bounce out of bounds. I kind of noted in the first half, the, the back line for Audeville, it really wasn't taking chances, just sending the ball forward. That was working in the first half. The second half here, against the wind, you can see it's not quite as, as effective. So uh, we're going to see how that plays out here, if, if they can you know, get rid of the ball and be effective that way, or if they're going to have to find a different way to get the ball, move the ball up the field. Elijah Shatterly just came back into the lineup for Ottawa Hills, we've got a big green substitution as well. Looks like that's Jaden Saxon who just came back into the lineup. There's a throw, that's a long throw. Gonna take a bounce into the goal box. It will be fielded by Alex Seaver. Seaver's punt, that one got around one player, but able to get back to it was West. Over to Duran, Duran passes it to the middle. There's a little space to work in the middle as they got it to Talbot. Big Green not going to take any chances here. They're just going to send that one out of play. You can see Ottawa Hills really, they do a really nice job of moving the ball side to side from, you know, from flank to flank basically. And they create that space in the middle right there. You saw, um, you know, that's, that's where they're dangerous. If they can create that space in the middle, they're going to, potentially create some opportunity. So Audible's got to be really on their game in the midfield. Throw in to Aussie. Aussie 
Got to get it right back, but that one went hard off of his foot. Slogbaum comes up with it. Slogbaum wanted to cut to his right. It's deflected, though, back to his west. left as West comes up with it. West trying to speed through the middle. Gets to his right, then puts that one through. But getting on top of that one is Alex Seaver. We're going to credit that as a shot on goal, as that was pretty close. That looked like it might have been. That, is that their first of the game? That's the first. Hills? I believe the one goal that Audeville has is their first shot on goal, too. Now the Big Green have something working on the right sideline. Pass it forward. It's deflected. The Bears hustle and as they try and send it out of play. It hit the corner flag. So really for the Big Green, it doesn't matter if this is a corner kick or a throw in because they play it essentially the same way. That's right. Usually you'd want a corner kick <laughs> in these situations, but if I'm Autoville, I'm happy with the throw in right here. It is a throw in. The Big Green perhaps get what they want. They're going to go short on this one, play it back out to Slog Bomb. Slog Bomb lobs one up towards the top of the box. Nobody home initially. Trailing back to the play is Alex Lee. He's going to drop it back, decompress the field a little bit. Here comes some pressure as Talbot's coming. They're starting to see a little bit more pressure put on the uh, Ottaville defense, even when they're even in like an attacking position. Yeah, Ottawa Hills, you know, when you're behind, you have to, you know, decide when are you going to try to, to go chase the game a little bit more. And it looks like right now they're they're making that decision to do that. Now it takes a long roll into the box and coming out to get his Julian Hausbeck. He's going to roll that one out and get it to Ayan. Ayan looks down the field and just set that one flying. Not sure if he wanted to pass it to Alex Duran or Evan West, but he sent it between them, and it'll be a throw in for the Big Green. Freeland wears sub down. Andy Borman rejoins the lineup here for the Big Green. Now you're going to see, I would expect Autoville, you know, soccer is a game of, of gamesmanship a little bit. And, uh, you know, there's still a lot of time left, but maybe you, you'd catch a little bit of time here by subbing a little bit, maybe extra, um, you know, trying to eat away a little bit at the at the clock. So, you know, in high school soccer, they, they try to discourage time wasting. They stop the clock late in the game for subs. Yeah. But, you know, you still have 20 minutes until that, that happens. So you can kind of eat away a little bit if you can. That's a relatively new rule as well. That's right. Substitutions come in, so the big green waiting to take this goal kick. Here comes a low line drive. That'll keep it out of the wind a little bit better, but West sets it down. Pass to the middle, and now big green trying to take possession back. Alex Duran battling for it, centering pass, finds its mark as they get it all the way across to Carson Mackey. Play it forward to Talbot, back to Mackey. Nice series of passes here. Mackey plays it left side, and that one is going to be cleared away. Green Bears won a penalty on the uh, deflection, but I think they got to the ball first. We do have a Green Bear player down on the field. The ball rolled past the end line, so it's going to be a corner kick coming up. It'll be the fourth corner kick of the game for Ottawa Hills. Yeah, you saw there, Ottawa Hills, really good combination play. I mean, quick one, two touch passing. Um, again, right in the middle of the field, they create that space and guys moving off the ball, that's that's where they're dangerous. They're really good at that. So the injured players back up. They didn't stop the clock for them. That one going to be deflected away, but back out where there's only one black jersey. Big Green just trying to get it out of harm's way here. And that's exactly what Jaden Zaxton did with that play. He just paused and booted it down the field. Mormon trying to get to it. Mormon, no. Oh. I think that's got to be a card coming out as uh, Julio Duran almost swung his, maybe they're not going to card him, but it sure looked like Emilio Duran swung his hand back up right after they got tangled up. And I think that's what the discussion there is at midfield, Kellen Schlogbaum is speaking with the officials and trying to get that call. It looks like they might They called it against Audeville, yeah. Yeah, so again, I don't know. You know, we talked about in the first half. I'm not sure if if there was the first the first foul that was not called and the retaliation is what was seen. But, you know, a lot of times that's what happens. Well, this is a big kick here with 23-35. Low low drive in the box. Good defensive header to send it away. Comes out to the near sideline, and that'll get out of bounds. Slug bomb. 
Tried to slide to it, not going to get there. Emilio Duran wisely lets it get out of play. That throw-in got past the first defender, not the second defender. Big Green working in some tight spaces here. Thought that one got out of bounds, but the officials say play on. With it is Mackey. Mackey passes off to his left side. There's the lob into the goal box. That's going to be offside. Getting a step ahead of that last defender there was Alex Duran. Had a good angle, but just got a little bit ahead of himself there. Again, you see Ottawa Hills. Good combination play in the midfield and then sending the ball in. So you kind of draw Ottawa in a little bit and then try to hit him over the top, even in the short spaces. Here's the throw from West. This just sticks his boot up, knocks it back out of bounds. There'll be another throw in for the Green Bears. Ball set down by Alex Duran. West lobs it in towards the box. And the Big Green just trying to get clearance there, almost cleared it into their own defender, but they're able to get it. Oh, that one went off the top of the foot of Schlagbaum, and it's going to take a long roll backwards. And Lisa's just going to poke that one out of bounds. You saw Ketlin Schlagbaum just, I think, try and bomb it down the field. Yeah, miss hit a little bit, and that, that wins a factor yeah. at that point. <laughs> miss hit is just so much different in a game like today. Not just the conditions, but the pressure of the game itself and the quality of the opponent that you're playing to make you pay for it. Look, there's Ottawa Hills with their own, their own long throw in. Yeah. Mackey to his right. The shot, it got deflected, and it went into the back of the net. And we are level at one apiece. 21-36 remaining in the second half. We will be right back after this on WOSN. And we're back at WOSN here at Frost Cowdow Stadium. Doug Jenkins, Aaron Troyer with us. 21-36 remaining in the second half. And we are all square at one apiece as Elijah Shetterly credited for the goal. Uh, they've yet to put it up on the scoreboard just yet, but I think that's going to stand. But that one took a weird deflection, and we're back underway. Yeah, it was kind of hard to tell. I couldn't tell if it bounced off one of the Ottawa players or if an, an Ottawa Hills player got it. If it was Ottawa Hills, it's pretty close to being offside. It looks like that's what Ottawa was trying to ask for. But uh, Shetterly, I think, is, is credited with the goal. And it remains 1-1. Today's premier sponsor for Audeville Big Green is Audeville Bank. We are large enough to serve you and small enough to know you. That one, take a long bounce in there. It's covered up by Alex Seaver. 1-1 is now your score. And you got the feeling that, oh, that's a nice long ball play all the way to Duran. Duran cuts it back to his left. They don't get a good clearance on the first attempt. Now it's sent away. You got the feeling the way that Ottawa Hills was starting to string together those passes, like you said, playing some nice combination passes off one, two. That, that attempt and that, that shot was going to get set up because they were starting to create some space right in front of the net. Yeah, you could see it kind of coming. Um, you know, those chances, the more chances you get, obviously, the more chances you have of scoring. So at that point, you know, they finally put one in. Now they're, they're, they've been playing here the last couple of minutes, last couple of chances here. They've been playing some long balls in. Those have been dangerous as well. So, you know, if you, you pair those two together, the long ball, as well as being able to, to have quick combinations, that's going to be tough for Ottaville now to defend. Well deflected out of bounds by big, the big green. And now we'll see how Ottaville responds to this. It's really the first adversity that they've faced here in, this, in, the, in the contest. Did we get a handball there? Either way, this is not a good break for the Big Green. No, another dangerous, dangerous chance here, about 35 yards out from goal. You can see that it's holding the ball in place till the absolute last second to try and kick it before it starts to roll again. It's going to be a Duran set to take it. Duran. Lobs it in, and that one is wide. It'll be a goal kick coming up for the Big Green. And they're going to go quick with it. And it's stolen away immediately by Duran. Duran trying to get back to his left, crosses it. That one found a spot, and it'll go out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick. And that 
quick kick by the Big Green nearly came back to bite him. Yeah, a little bit of a poor touch there, and, and Duran takes advantage, sends a great ball on the far side of the box on the back side. Um, I think that was Shetterly that just couldn't quite get the ball to his foot. And that ball is going to be going upward. Lee plays it forward. Swan ball had it deflected away from him. Throw it coming up for the Big Green. Schlagbaum can really launch it, but this time he's going to drop it back to Lease. Lease plays it forward to Schlagbaum. Schlagbaum trying to get around West. And West just sends it out of play. Throw in coming up once again for the green. Lease will take the throw here. Lease has a pretty good cannon, too. He's going to go right to Schlagbaum. Schlagbaum chips it in. This one's going to find its way back out to Lease. Lease tries to play it forward to Schlagbaum. I think he's in an offside position. He's going to have to reset himself as Hills unable to get clearance initially. Now they've got something coming in a counter. Pass over to the left side. Right back into the middle of the big green. will send that one away. Yeah, good read there by Horseman. Winning the ball. Coming up with it, Landwehr. Landwehr lobs it over to the left side. Schlock ball. Tried to cut it right in front of Iab, but couldn't get his foot on it. We're going to get a push against the big green bears. And now the big green will get a free kick. Coaches have not thrilled with the call, but that's what we'll say. 17 and a half remains in the ball game. 1-1 one, one is our score. One chipped over all the way to the far side of the box, headed down, and now sent out of harm's way by the defense for the big green. Now they have something coming in the counter. Four players against four players. Some room to run with the ball handler. Bounces it out to the left side. Now they've got even more room to work there. The left footer set to the top of the box. It's Talbot. Talbot gets to the left. There's the shot. And there is the go-ahead goal for Ottawa Hills with 16.59 remaining. Here in the second half, Ottawa Hills has taken the lead. And we will take a timeout back with more on WOSN. Welcome back to Frost Countdown Stadium here on WOSN. Doug Jenkins and Aaron Troyer with you as a two goal streak here for Ottawa Hills puts them in front. This time, Elijah Shetterly off the assist from Talbot. And now the Green Bears are playing with their first lead of the game. Our scoreboard presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here and now the big green have their backs against the wall with 16.59 remaining again we talked about how it was going to be interesting to see how they responded to seeding that first goal now down a goal we'll see how they they play but they found some opportunities here in the second half but they're going to have to continue to work and i think you can't get undisciplined here that's right they, they need to make sure you know they haven't given up a lot of goals this year, so obviously they haven't found themselves down in games very often. So it's going to be a, a bit, little bit of an adjustment. Um, we'll see how they react, but they have to press forward a little bit more. I think they've been sitting back a little bit. Um, now being down a goal, they're going to have to press forward a bit more. Cross finds its way to Lee. Lee's trying to go across West, but West clears it away. That one gets up with a win. Nicely chested down by the Audeville defense. I believe that's Horseman again with a nice play. Pardon me, it's a yeah, Carter Horseman. Now stolen away. Talbot makes a nice move to his left side, kept his footing. He's alone in the box on the left side, and nice job chasing the play down. The slide tackle will send the ball out of play, and it will be a corner kick coming up once again for Ottawa Hills. And suddenly this Bears team has new life, and they're playing with a lot more aggression out there. They're moving downhill constantly on the attack. Yeah, we talked about it before. You know, they were they were tied 0-0 uh, at halftime in their last game. The regional semifinals ended up winning 4-0. So, you know, they, like we said, they once they score one, um, it seems like, you know, that, that dam breaks and they just keep going. So, and we're seeing that right now. They're really putting Audeville under, under pressure, creating a lot of really good chances. Audeville, a nice pass to the middle as they do get the ball off of the goal kick instead of what looked initially to be a corner. Pass out to the right side. It's a good ball down the sideline. Saxon trying to get to it, shielded from it. And again, just trying to make the defender make a mistake. Are right, they going to call it a trip on Saxton? Yes, they are. 
thought initially the shoe came off of the Aqua Hills player. We've got, I think that's Talbot sitting on the ground. They stopped the clock for him. And now he's going to have to come off the field as a result of that. Remember, he got banged up uh, playing to try it on that corner kick earlier in the half. So. Yeah, he had to come out earlier. I'm not sure if it has something to do with that or not, but it looks like he got nicked up a bit. Josh Marit comes into the lineup. He'll be up top for Ottawa Hills. And Hajar also into the lineup now. I assume, uh, assume Hajar enters the contest. So, let's see how long the, uh, the Green Bears go without a couple of their starters in the lineup. Long kick, set equally long the, way, the other way back down the field, but it'll go out of bounds. Here comes the throw. This will be uh, from Parikh. That one took an errant bounce. And nice job by the big green of just deflecting it off someone to get possession back here. They're going to get Lease back into the lineup. That's Grant Lease replacing Alex Lease. We'll see now if Audeville can string some passes together. In the first half, they were able to do so. The second half so far, not as much. Um, most of their opportunities have been off counterattack, so we'll see if they can maybe settle down a little bit, um, keep the ball a little bit longer, and find some chances here. That pass through the middle is intercepted. Coming up with it was Duran. Big Green able to get back to it first. Nice move back into the middle of the field. As they play it up to Mormon. Mormon wants to go to the right, gets caught up in traffic, and stolen away by the Green Bears. Crossing pass. Touch first by the Big Green. Lease has some time. Now he's got some pressure coming from the backside. Plays it forward. West will be the first one to get to him. Perhaps a little bit over aggressive in trying to get to that one. Ball sent out of bounds and it'll be a throw in. I believe this will be a throw in for the Golden Bears. But down to 13.26 left, but as you well know, that's a long time in a game that's been played this tight and this closely contended. Yeah, a lot, a lot still can happen here. Um, you know, the clock ticks down. If you're Autoville, you're out there on the, on the field and you're you're watching that clock and you're probably pressing a little bit, but you have to understand and realize there's a lot of game left here. Rowan will come in for the uh, Green Bears. And that's deflected out of bounds. Getting his foot up on it was Alex Duran. Lease, long pass down the field. Would sent high. Bridge ball. A couple of headers as both teams battle for possession. Audible just has to send it out of play. And you can see a little bit more deliberateness from Ottawa Hills on the throw ins now. Like we talked about, a little bit of gamesmanship. Yep. That's what soccer is a lot of times. You see it especially at the professional level. So if you can eat away at that clock a little bit when you have the lead, that's what you want to do. Generally with that one goal lead late in the game, the first guy who looks like he's going to throw is never the guy who actually That's right. <laughs> throw it. Nice move to the left side of Hajar. He plays it forward to Mackey. He's been kind of key in setting up some of these combos as he gets right back to him. Yeah, he's not on the scorebook, but he's been really dangerous here, helping create some chances for Ottawa Hills. Cross up the goal box. The green able to get clear, but also find a white jersey to play it for the Mansfield. Mansfield lobs it. Schlagbaum trying to get through. Schlagbaum has it sent away. Schlagbaum working back. Can he beat the defender to it? No, but it will be a throw in. Bob Mackey sent that one out of play. I think you got to credit Ottawa Hills. They've really kind of neutralized Schlagbaum. They have called his name a lot in the second half. No, he really hasn't had many chances with you know, going to goal. Coming back to get that to Saxton. Saxton double team. The ball is able to work back to it. Throw in coming up big green, trailing by one. Just over 10 minutes remaining. Just pass forward to Slogbomb. Slogbomb 
Sends it across the net, but coming out to get that is Julian uh, Hosmer. And that will take care of the Audeville attack in that instance. Kind of a low kick that time off the tip of his toe. But it took a couple of bad bounces. Fortunate. That was really close for Alex Seaver. He initially was out of the box, realized that he was standing out of the box to get that ball and hop back in. Yeah, sometimes. Just before it got there. Sometimes when you're not used to all those lines, in you know, the football lines, the soccer lines, it's a little bit tough to, to tell where you're at. It looked like he might have thought the, the 10 yard line on the football lines was, was the 18. Fortunate for Audible, he was able to get back, and that's, that's not a good situation if the keeper touches it with his hands out of the box there especially as we get down to 10 minutes remaining in the game. Brandon Lingo comes back into the game for Ottawa Hills. He'll replace Carson Mackey. Ball initially put back into play. The Bears will work it back. Emilio Duran able to send it forward. That one is long and out of play. It'll be a goal kick coming up for the big green. Now as we're Ottawa Hills with their possession-based game, you know, if they can keep the ball, they want to they want to move it, uh, make Ottawa have to work, maybe tire them out a little bit more. Ottawa obviously is going to need to try to get, get forward with the ball, so they're going to have to win it higher up the field if they can. There's a long lob forward from the right side, but immediately sent back across midfield. It's just interesting how this the possession of this game went very early in the game. It was all Audeville, and then as we got to the middle point of the game, even when Audeville scored, it was much more even. And now as one of the back half, it's, it's really Ottawa Hills who's winning that possession battle as they lead two to one. Yeah, Ottawa Hill seems to just kind of, as the game goes on, the flow of the game, they, they kind of take control. Slowly but surely, they take control, and it looks like that's what they're doing right now. You never really saw them got out of kilter, even when uh, they were down a goal early in the second half. Now we're just over eight minutes remaining. Leeds, well, that looked like it was going to be a collision of heads there as Leeds leaned in for it. Fortunately, that's not what happened. And now, battle for possession finds its way back out to Ayad who swings it to his left side to Silk. It's a good takeaway by the big green, and then they just bounce it right back out of bounds off of uh, Parikh. The green just trying to find a way to play it forward, but good defensive positioning by the Ottawa Hills Green Bears, and that's we talked about that in the first half too, is that they're very good at keeping their shape on defense as well. So it's especially going into this win, those, att those attempts to attack, not just the win, not just you're getting a little tired here at the end of the game, but you're going against pretty solid defense. Yeah, they're, they're very organized in the back. And then when you have Ayad right, right in front of them, kind of dictating things, you want, to, want the ball on his foot. You know, he's one of the better players in the area. I want the ball on his foot. He's had it a lot here in the second half to try to dictate the game. Ball brought down by Ayad. A little bit of a collision there, but Duran will keep it. And they will play on as he drops it back to Ayotte again. There's a giveaway. Yes, there is. Slogbaum can he get around that last defender? It's going to be tripped. And they're going to give him a throw in. Thought perhaps he got tripped as he made that stutter step trying to get some space around the defender. There's the throw in top of the box. Header towards the front of the goal, but not nearly enough white jerseys to attack that. That's an easy one to come away with for Julian Hausman. Now is when you'd think Ottawa's going to have to start sending a little bit more numbers forward on those those throw-ins, those free kicks, even just generally in the attack. You know, you have to get more numbers forward. Um, they're still sitting back a little bit, so we'll see if maybe here in the next couple minutes they, they decide to do so. Yeah, that's a very strategic decision because you know if you start to give up more, you know what you're facing here in the front with, with Ottawa Hills. So the longer you don't have to do that and give that opportunity, the better, but it's probably coming down to that time. That's right. You don't want to get, you know, catch yourself out so you get give up a second goal and then at that point with the amount of time left, it's really, really tough to, to score two goals. So you want to, yeah, very strategic decision on when you want to do that. It's a nice pass over to an open side of the field. Lease plays it forward. Lease pumps to the left side. I think we'll get the trip call. Indeed we will. 
Just under six remaining now. Kick will be taken by Garrett Trentman. Trentman thought about going short initially. Now I think he wants to go a little bit longer. And across the field though. And get it over to Carter Horseman. Horseman centering pass. Finds its way to Mansfield. Mansfield back over to Trentman. Trentman plays it forward. Trentman able to work through a little bit. Trying to drop it back. Got his foot on it. Officials say play on. Lee sends it into the middle of the box. But then it's cleared away all the way back to midfield. Header will send it out of bounds. And it will be Ottawa Hills with the throw in. Looked to be a, a nice development there for Ottaville momentarily. And they're going to stop the clock. And I think there's a little, little back and forth between Coach Brian Hayudel and the officials. Yeah, it looks like the officials making sure that there's no time wasting here. They're not going to you know, pass the ball off back and forth to different guys before yep. they throw it in. So that clearance is blown right back at the Ottaville defense. And as a result, Ottawa Hills will get the throw in here, leading by a score of two to one. And that pass deflected out of bounds. So here comes, I thought that initially went off of a, a green bear, but it will be a throw in for Ottawa Hills. Far side of the field. That one will now be knocked out of bounds by the Bears. So throw in deep in the defensive half for the Big Green. But again, the Big Green just having trouble maintaining possession of any sort. As you've seen, the Bears really start to assert themselves in that arena. The right side, West lobs it in. Coming forward and just to get forward was uh, Landon. Green sent it across midfield here. Thunder four left. Trailing by a goal. That one sent out of play. Quick Ottaville substitution. Alex Lease is going to come in. He's going to replace Grant Lease. Or excuse me, Grant Lease will replace Alex Lease. And I think this is where you unleash everything in the kitchen sink. And yeah. get over a little over three minutes. Three and a half to go. I wouldn't be shocked here if, if Ottaville starts. If they can get the ball forward, yep. then you have to start sending some numbers forward. a pass through, trying to get it to the left side to Lease. He's didn't dive in initially, so the pass is then stolen away by Ottaville. And that will be sent long and out of play. As again, they try and get the ball to Kellen Schlagbaum, and I think that's got to be target number one. Get it to him, let him try and do something with the ball right now. There's a through ball, there's Lease, and that's a defense, that's a nice defensive slide tackle. Is trying to lean in there was Grant Trentman. Now it's set down the field. Audeville comes away with the steal. There's a slide tackle. Coming in on the right side. Looks like Audeville will get to it first. Giving challenge to that was Alex Duran. Touch over to the right side. Now two and a half left. Trying to get the slog bomb. Slog bomb. Trying to keep it in on the right sideline. And it's out for a throw. Yep. A dangerous opportunity here. No time is winding down, but we'll see if they can get more people up there. That's thrown in. That ball got headed away. Got a couple of players down in the goal box. They'll be up. Chipped forward. Lease is coming up to forward towards it. Initially deflected away and now sent long from the goal box with two minutes remaining. A couple of opportunities here, though, for Audeville in these closing minutes. Play it over to the right sideline. There's a cross into the middle. No white jerseys there, though. Nice job breaking it down by Trentman. You see Ottawa Hills really compact. I mean, they have guys defensively back, but they're staying really compact. So right in the middle of the field, really tough for, for the ball to get through. Throw in will come from Grant Lease. Lease over the top of the defense. There's Mansfield. Couldn't quite get it to him, and that one was kept in bounds by the Ottawa Hills defense. That looked like it was going to go out. And there's a steal with a minute 20. That's a big steal as that lets the Bears work the ball around a little bit. Pass to the middle. Stepping on top of it was Carter Horseman. Sent wide to the right side. He was on sides as Alex Durant. Can he get to it? And I 
don't think he was even all that worried about getting to it. Just wanted to give enough chase to have Audeville have to come back to him. Yeah. 55 seconds left. Audeville down a goal. That one's headed forward. Trying to get to it. Nice job by Schlagbaum, using his body to secure the ball. Down to 40 seconds left. And wisely, Ottawa Hills is just going to send it out of play. That one is going to end up being a throw-in. Not often you see the keeper do it, but there's no time to nope. be wasted here. So That's right. You have to do what you have to do at that point. Alex Seaver going to have to do that. That one's sent out of play by Ottaville. And with under 20 seconds left, Ottawa Hills is going to work a little clock on this throw-in. Short throw. And that's pretty much going to do it with 10 seconds left. They just pop it forward down the field. Seaver will get it. There's five seconds left. Not enough time to get it back down the field. And Ottawa Hills will move on to the state. Coming back from a 1-0 deficit to beat the Ottaville Big Green by a final score of 2-1 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Take a timeout. Half tire, excuse me, the postgame show coming up after this on WOSM. Back on the post game here on WOSN, where Ottawa Hills defeats Ottaville by a final score of two to one on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. A game that Ottaville felt that they had in hand at one point, Aaron Troyer, but Ottawa Hills is going to make you earn every minute of the game, and that's what they did today. Yeah, really, I mean, just a really quality team. Um, Ottawa Hills, you know, we talked about it during the broadcast, but they just seem to kind of, as the game flows and, and, and goes, you know, Ottawa had the run of play kind of at the beginning, and then as the game went on, you just saw Ottawa Hills find their footing more and more and more. And towards the end of the game, you know, Ottawa Hills had the ball. They had, they had most of the chances, um, and I think a well-deserved win at the end. Well, not many shots on goal to be had either way. Ottawa had one shot on goal by our count and found the back of the net with 33-57 remaining in the second half. Trey Landwehr, assisted by Preston Schnipke, opened up the scoring for the entire game to make it 1-0 Ottawa. But then it was about 12 minutes later when Eli Shetterly drew the game even with his first goal of the game. And five minutes later, Shetterly would again find the back of the net, assisted that time by Harley Talbot to make it 2-1. That would be the end of the scoring. Just three shots on goal all day for Ottawa Hills as a result. But a lot of times it's not how many times you take shots on the net. It's what you do with your opportunities. And Ottawa Hills got just a few more opportunities, and they did just a little bit more with the opportunities they were presented. Yeah, you know, as, as a coach, you're always telling your players, at least we, we tell our players, in, in big games against other good teams, you know, you're not going to get many chances. So you have to take advantage of them when, when you do. Um, you know, both teams did that. Ottawa Hills just had one more chance that went in. So, um, again, you know, really, really well played game on both sides, I think. Um, was was fun to watch these two teams go at it again for the second year in a row. And for Ottaville, the first loss of the season comes at the regional final level. Great season at 19-1-2. And, and, Coach, we know they're bringing a lot back. I know when uh, you take your – they bring their team to you next year at Liberty Benton, it's not going to be a lot of uh, young kids who haven't played before for this big green team. No, that's – you know, that's – we talked about in the beginning just two, two really good programs here. Um, you know, they expect to be in these positions every year. You know, once you get a taste of that, um, each year, you know, you have players that gain that experience, and obviously you have seniors that go out, but you have younger guys that are getting these experiences, and that's that's something that's really, really nice to build on. So from all of those perspectives, you know, they have guys that have experienced this now two years in a row, um, and you just kind of keep that tradition alive. So, yeah, expect them to be right back in this position again next year because they've, they've done it now a couple years in a row. They've, they've tasted it and that's probably going to be something they strive for every year. All right, with that said, that will wrap things up here on the post game. Again, your final score, 2-1 to one in favor of Ottawa Hills over Ottaville. For Jacob O'Neill running camera and producing, Coach Aaron Troyer joining us for color commentary. I'm Doug Jenkins. We'll see you next time on WOSN.